Governor Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Emefile, well, after all, not appear in person before the House of Representatives to explain the latest policy on cash withdrawal limit. The Deputy Governor of Financial System Facility, Aisha Ahmed, is now to lead the Committee of Governors to the floor of the House on Thursday. National Assembly correspondent Joki Adisa reports on this and other legislative businesses of the day. The back and forth between the House of Representatives and the Central Bank Governor, Godwin Emefili, over the latest cash policy appears to have come to an end after Tuesday's letter re-inviting the CBN Governor the bank sent in a reply, and in its stead, the deputy governor in charge of financial system stability is to lead the committee of governors to respond to lawmakers' inquiries on the policy. At this stage, we have to rise above certain things and not make it personal anymore. If the governor has said he's out of the country and in good faith is attending to health conditions, would it serve this house to continue to insist on his physical appearance. But the content of the letter divides members before a resolution was reached to oblige the CBN team. To aid the fight against graft, the House adopted a motion seeking to introduce anti-corruption classes and training into the curricula of primary and junior secondary schools. The motion sponsored by Speaker Femi Bajabia Miller and three others also aims to convene a stakeholders conference on the subject matter. The House perceived that one reason the fight against corruption has not achieved the desired objectives in the country is the absence of a deliberate national strategy to engage citizens from the early stages of their lives to identify, challenge and defeat corrupt practices wherever they may exist or manifest. The House has moved closer to increasing penalty for offenses relating to female genital mutilation as a proposed amendment to the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015 passes second reading. I rise to move the motion on a bill for an act to amend the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015 to increase the penalty for the offense of female genital mutilation. In a motion of urgent national importance, the House called on the federal government to share the artifacts being returned to Nigeria to deserving states. The House on Wednesday stepped down the consideration of the report of its Committee on Electoral Matters on a bill seeking to establish a National Electoral Offenses Commission over noticeable gaps. Joker Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.